Good morning. You've reached the unit at Delta North. This is the ship's control application program. This is a non-secure line. How can I help you, sir or ma'am? Is Petty Officer Curran there? According to the duty section in Westville, yes. Petty Officer Curran is on duty. Can I talk to him? Ma'am, according to the watch bill, Petty Officer Curran is the off-going missile compartment roving patrol and is most likely in the wreck. I know what watch is he standing. I asked if I could talk to him. Ma'am, the roving patrol watch station is currently port and starboard, and I'm sure you understand Petty Officer Curran needs his sleep before he relieves for the morning watch. Well, he should have thought about that before he decided not to call me when he said he would after his watch. Ma'am, may I ask what this is concerning? That's none of your business. Is he even there? May I ask who is calling? <sighs> This is his wife. Why do you need to ask who's calling? Who else is calling him? Um, um, no one, ma'am. I was just asking as a courtesy. Has that skank from Blockbuster been calling him? Ma'am, please hold. I am contacting personnel to summon Petty Officer Curran. I'm a totally freak if he's been talking to the... Belodex, scap, X1J. Belodex, scap, X1J. Belodex. Belodex, scap, have you seen MT2 Curran? Man, I'd venture to guess that if it's the mid-watch and he's not on watch... Then he's freaking sleeping. Belodex, Scat, his wife is on the phone. I don't care, man. Tell her he's in the rack. I did. Apparently, he was supposed to call her. Well, tell her he didn't call her because he doesn't like her. Dude, I am not going to tell her that. Just check to see if he's in his rack. All right. Nope, he's not in his rack. Can't find him. Did you even look? Yeah, man, I looked. You were gone for like... Three seconds. Man, I looked. My real-time watch standard tracking matrix indicates that you are currently in the torpedo room. Stupid real-time watch standard tracking matrix. All right, I'm looking. Thank you, Petty Officer. Ma'am, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. You haven't found him yet? Is it really that hard to get someone on the phone? Why don't you just page him? Ma'am, the announcing circuits are for emergency, operational, and administrative uses only. That's why I hate calling there. Why is it so hard to get my husband on the phone? What if someone tried to break in the house? What if I got in a car accident? I could be dead in a ditch. You guys don't care. It's not like he cares either, because if he did care, he would have called. <sighs> How did I get stuck answering the phone? Hey, Fred, man, um, he's really not in this rack. Son of a crap. Hey, Thresher. What? Why don't boats have cool names anymore? What are you talking about? You know, all the boats in the fleet right now are named after states and cities and obscure politicians. Why'd they start doing that? I don't know. Man, boats used to have wicked names like Scorpion and Barracuda and Shark, Stingray, Eel. Who gives a crap? A cool name doesn't make the boat less lame. It still sucks. But you'd have way cooler t-shirts. Like on the USS Shark, there's no question what would go on the ship's logo. A sweet-looking shark. But how are you supposed to make a cool logo for the Henry M. Jackson? Or a state? Though it was pretty funny when they renamed the off-crew building after the first four guided missile submarines. I kind of like the logo for the Alaska. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Or the, or the Chicago. Yeah, I like that one too. But the coolest logo in the history of the Navy has to be the USS Georgia. I agree. The Georgia's logo is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Did you know it was designed by a boat guy? Bull crap. Something that cool must have been done professionally. Nope. It was an active duty sailor who crafted that magnificent work of art. Amazing. Man, if I had talent like that, I'd be out of the Navy so fast. I'd smoke a joint to get out of the Navy. What's a joint? I don't know. I just know that my great-great-granduncle got kicked out for smoking one. Huh. You know, I think there's still a boat in the fleet that has a cool name, but I can't think of it. I'm drawing a blank. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's gonna bother me. Man, what is it? It's like right in the back of my head. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me sooner or later. This is the longest watch ever. What should we do until we get relieved? I don't know.
I'm still bored. <laughs>